I'm uh, Taisuke Katese from Kabri IPMU. Uh, I will talk about the non-relativistic effect on direct indirect probe of EV at colliders. <coughs> this is contents of my talk. Uh, first, I review about EWIMP and the indirect probe uh, of at collider, and then move on to uh, then I will explain the previous calculation and problem, and then move on to the higher order calculation and summary. Okay, let's start from the EWIMP. Now, EWIMP is the electrically interacting massive particle. That means the massive massive particle with uh, SU2 charge. And a WIMP is one of the WIMP, so it's a good candidate of dark matter. And WIN or Higgs signal in SUSY, or minimal dark matter, is an example of a WIMP. And we can estimate very density through cal calculating Boltzmann equation. And this is our model. We consider the Majorana fermionic a WIMP and SU2 triplet. And uh, the case you want hypercharge it zero. That is the we know like a WIMP. And this is a Lagrangian for our model. Uh, the Lagrangian is standard model Lagrangian plus dark matter kinetic term plus dark matter mass term. And here the parameter is only the dark matter mass. And the dark matter, the sorry, dark matter is triplet for SU2 and only coupled with the SU2 gauge boson. To and this gauge kin uh, kinetic stuff. And uh, let, let me uh, in explain about indirect probe. So we have several ways to search a WIMP use, use, using colliders. The first is uh, monoshape search. And this and the second is the partner particle search. This is a charge in search. And third, this is indirect probe. And here we look the loop effect by E WIMP. So let me explain the more detail of indirect probe. Um, without uh, E WIMP, the considering the P P bar collision, so Q Q bar goes to uh, sorry, considering Q Q bar collision, and Q Q bar goes to the, uh, gamma or Z and directly go to L L bar. And uh, if there is a WIMP, uh, there, a WIMP can loop inside of this uh, propagator. So the a WIMP makes some uh, some correction to the uh, cross section of the Dravian process. Uh, so if we uh, search the deviation of the cross section from the standard model. Uh, deviation of the cross section of the Dravian process, we can search dark matter indirectly. And also the more important, uh, the important point is that the correction is depend on the center mass energy, root S, square root of S. So we need to know this information. So let's see the previous calculation and problem. And let's calculate the radiative correction by the dark matter. And this is our Lagrangian. And then integrating out our dark matter field, we get like this Lagrangian and this effective Lagrangian. And we get this uh, co uh, collection term. This is ga gauge, SU2 gauge term, gauge kinetic term. And we have collection like this. And this function pi is very important. And I will focus this function. And minus d square inside of this function can be considered as the square of the energy flow inside of this propagator. And the m chi in the denominator is just for non-dimensionalization non for this d square. So uh, let's look at this function pi. And there is an uh, analytical formula for one loop calculation. This is an analytical formula. And here is a plot for the other part of the pi and imaginary part of pi. And x axis is 
means the normalized center mass energy. So here means the center mass energy is equal to dark matter mass. Here means the uh, center mass energy is twice of dark matter mass. And, and this formula means the ratio of the cross section of Dwellian process. The numerator means the including the cross section, including EWIMP. And denominator means the cross section without EWIMP. And the ratio is calculated like this one plus. So this term means the deviation from standard model cross section. Two times the real part of the pi plus pi square. And this pi square is a higher order of the collection. So I will focus on this term. So focus on this real part term. Okay. So there is some problem on one root calculation. So we have some peaky structure here. That means the center mass energy is equal to twice of dark matter mass. And that means, so center, uh, the energy flow that comes as twice of dark matter mass. And so one times dark matter mass can go here and one times dark matter mass can go here. So uh, in here, dark e wimps can non-relativistic and there may be some enhancement by non-relativistic effect like Zoma felt enhancement of the annihilation of the WIMP. Okay, so let's uh, calculate higher order. And we calculated the two, two loops. And this diagram is sig significant at threshold region. So uh, threshold means that X uh, center mass energy is equal to uh, two times that number mass. And this is important for threshold region. And this diagram is also needed for gaze invariance. And we have the analytic formula of the two loop calculation at threshold region. This is the analytic formula. And this part plus this part. And this part is coming from the, this diagram with the gamma exchange. And this part coming from this, uh, this diagram with Z poisson exchange. And look at this term. Uh, if, we sub, uh, if I substitute x equal to two, this goes to zero. So log zero goes diverge. So we need more proper calculation. That means uh, non-relativist calculation. And this is a, a full plot of the two loop and one loop uh, calculation of the pi. This uh, I showed the real part of that one loop calculation, calculation and two loop calculation. And two loop calculation diverge here. And now let's go to non-relativistic calculation. Uh, in order to calculate non-relativistically, we have to sum these ladder diagrams. These are important for the threshold region. And in order to, in order to uh, sum up this diagram, I, we solved the uh, non-relativistic Schrodinger equation for two-body state of a WIMP. <clears throat> and this is the numerical result. Zooming up this threshold region. <clears throat> and this is the uh, result. And x-axis is a, a log logarithm of the normalized center mass energy minus two. So, and so here is threshold. So I only show the region only X is smaller than two. And this uh, black line is the one loop calculation. And this red line means the non-relativistic calculation at dark matter mass e is equal to five TeV. And this dotted red line is a two loop calculation of the dark matter mass is five TV. And this blue line is for the dark matter mass is one TV. And we have so many divergent structure here. And 
this bound, uh, sorry, this divergence structure is coming from the bound state. We have calculated this pi, function pi, and we can divide, separate this pi into two parts, the regularized part plus bound state part. And this for, uh, sorry, this, uh, please remember this uh, formula, the ratio of the cross section, uh, including EWIMP and without EWIMP. And this gives uh, like this formula. And this part, pi square is a higher order of the correction, but this bound state part is uh, diverges. So this part can be important because of bound state. And uh, for the real, real part of the pi for the bound state is negligible because uh, we, uh, we integrate through the x axis. So this term uh, can cancel for the real part of the pi. You have just one minute. Okay. And let me summarize. And this is a signal uh, at Hadron Collider for the M equal 5 TV and with 0.1% energy resolution. The, uh, this is from one loop contribution. This red line is from two loop contribution and this black line is from normativistic nor calculation contribution. Um, I also include all effect like bound state. And this summary. Um, bound states appear in very narrow region at threshold, and it is difficult to see at Hadron Collider because of its energy resolution. And for Hadron Collider, tube sort of calculation is good enough. Uh, for Lefton Collider, can this effect be seen? And for higher S2 multiplet, tube sort of and non-perturbative effect become more drastic. Okay, thank you.